Now, my goal for being with you all this morning is also very basic. You all are world-class high performers. And one thing I know for certain, having spent my entire life working with, working alongside, and closely observing high performers, is high performers are looking to grow. They're looking to develop. They're looking to evolve. They're looking to improve. High performers like you all are always looking for that edge. And that's why I'm here today, to help give you that edge. But in order to do all of that in a very short time, I need each and every one of you to stay open-minded to improving your clarity in three specific areas. The first is our perspective, your personal core values, and your purpose. So let's first take a look at perspective, the way that you see the world. And I wanna highly encourage you to start looking through the lens of the foundational principle of transformational leadership, which is choosing to look through the lens of it's not about me, it's about you. It's not about me, it's about you. You need to be able to look every single prospect or every single client in the eye and say, it's not about me, it's about you. You should be able to look every single member of your family in the eye, spouses, significant others, and children, and say, it's not about me, it's about you. You should be able to look every single member of your team in the eye and say, it's not about me, it's about you. See, one thing I know for certain when it comes to leadership, when you learn to shift your focus off of what you want from people and shift it on what you want for people, you become the most magnetic person in the room. I'm gonna say that again because it's really important. See, when you can shift your focus to what you want for people instead of what you want from people, it's an absolute game changer. And don't forget this adage, which is a, an absolute truism. A candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. We should all be in the business of lighting other people's candles, both those on the team and those that you serve. So first and foremost is our perspective. The second area that we need to heighten clarity are our core values, our personal core values. I'm sure each and every one of your teams has organizational core values, and I hope that you live in alignment with those, but you need a personal code of conduct. What do you believe in? What do you stand for? What are the non-negotiables that you use to make the most important decisions in your life? As leaders, you gotta get crystal clear on your core values. Why? See, when you get crystal clear on what it is that you believe and you use that to make decisions, instead of the ebb and flow of emotions and feelings that we all experience as human beings, you increase your consistency. It actually makes decision-making so much easier when you're clear on your core values. Because every single decision you make, you simply run through your filter of your core values and say, is this in alignment with my core values or not? If the answer is yes, it's in alignment with your core values, then you can do it with a smile and with no hesitation. If it's not, if what you're about to say or what you're about to do is not in alignment with your personal core values, all I ask is that you take a pause. You take a beat. You take a breath. And you ask yourself consciously, do I really want to proceed in saying or doing something that is not in alignment with my core values? And it has been my experience with elite high performers like you all. The mere act of taking that pause and asking that question 99 times out of 100 will course correct you back on track to living in alignment with your core values. So we have to get crystal clear on our core values. Now let's take a look at the third pillar where we need to heighten awareness, and that is purpose. The purpose behind the work that you do. And don't confuse function with purpose. The, the, the function of that chair you're sitting in is to provide somewhere for you to sit. The purpose of that chair is to provide you comfort. One is a much deeper meaning. One of the best organizations that I've ever seen do this at scale is DHL, the International Shipping and Logistics Goliath. DHL has a presence in every single country in the world and has hundreds of thousands of team members. But they do a masterful job of making sure everybody on the team stays connected to their purpose. And what's the DHL purpose? We don't deliver brown boxes, we deliver promises. They go to great lengths to make sure 
that a, a new employee that's working in a remote city in a remote country who's working the graveyard shift, that they're not putting brown box after brown box onto truck after truck. They make sure that person knows you are not putting a brown box on a truck. You're putting a little kid's birthday gift on a truck. You're not putting a brown box on a truck. You're putting a future bride's wedding dress on a truck. And when you can stay deeply connected to your purpose and rise above the function, you will increase your buy-in and your believe-in. It will increase your why power. It will increase working hard and being consistent on the days where you don't feel like it on the days when it's not convenient, on the days when you don't want to. So we have to stay connected to purpose. So again, I challenge you all and hopefully will empower you all to improve your personal perspective, your personal core values, and your personal purpose.